The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with Mary, the mother of Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Yes, my sisters and bro my brothers and sisters, my brethren, we celebrate today a very special Mass in honor of Our Lady, the Blessed Mother. Two years ago, Pope Francis wanted to uh, emphasize the motherhood of Mary and the motherhood of the Church in a special way based on the motherhood of Mary. The Church as Our Mother is the name of this feast. It's a movable feast. It always occurs the day after Pentecost, now for the last two years. And uh, it's a very wonderful reminder for us, as Pentecost is the quote-unquote birthday of the Church, that the next day we celebrate, in a special way, the Church as our Mother, Mother of the Faithful, those who are on the journey of faith, please God, towards eternity, forever with God, in happiness with God. Let us acknowledge our sins. Let us first tell you who this Mass is for, the living intention. Alexa M, JJ, Jerry K, Carol, Jim M, Eileen, Pat, Gerda, Lucy, Pam, Hank, Eva, and Jeff, Joan, Remus. Please keep them in your prayers today. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, whose only begotten Son, as he hung upon the cross, chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also, grant, we pray, that with her loving help, your church may be more fruitful day by day, and exulting in the holiness of her children, may draw out to her embrace all the families of the peoples, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 Our responsorial psalm is number 87. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious Glory things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains, the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things, are said of you, o city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there. And all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is with you. Lord, Lord your name is the of the people, city of God. Oh, happy 
virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed mother of the church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine. So they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the spirit. Now since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The account of Genesis helps us recall that Eve is the mother of all the living. The account of creation, Adam and Eve, all of the living as a result of their creation. In a similar way, we are asked to remember that Mary is the mother of all those who are living in faith. She is the mother of Jesus, and Jesus establishes his church on Calvary, from the cross, from his wounded side. Blood and water flowed out. Indeed, the church flowed from his wounded side. Mary, as his mother, is mother of the church. Not only that, but also the exchange they have between them. Jesus, John, Mary, in saying to Mary, behold your son, he's not asking Mary to look at him. He's asking Mary to look at John, and John to look at Mary. And to have, yes, it is for her care, yes, but that's the lowest level. The highest level is that Mary is looking at John, John representing the church, so that Mary, in a sense, is the mother of the church because John is the first bishop, one of the first 11 bishops of the church, uh, established by Jesus. And now he will be leading and the church will be born out of, right, his work, so to speak, with the other apostles, with Peter as the pope, the first pope. Jesus sends him forth. Mary is the mother of John. John represents the church. The church born out of Christ's wounded side. We can honor our mother as we always do by going to her, to praying through her. She always brings us to the same place, to the altar of sacrifice, to the cross, with her son, right? No matter what. We don't worship Mary as God. We honor her as mother, and she leads us to her son every time. It's all about Jesus, right? Mary is our mother. Think about your mother. Think about your mothers in the most best positive light. And know what did they do? They nurtured you to help you lead you into a healthy life, right? That's what they did. And that's what the church does. Nurtures us into a healthy life of faith that leads to eternal life with God forever. This body, this body is going to decay. At one point long in the future, it'll be glorified. Yes, with God, please God. But right now we know that our bodies are going to die. But we are not just flesh and blood. We are flesh and blood joined with a soul by God at, at the moment of our conception.
joined with a soul. That soul is immortal, will live forever with God, please God. That's, how, that's what God made us for. Mary is our mother leading us that way. The church is our mother leading us in this direction, leading us to this altar and to the altar of the cross, now and always. God bless you. Now my sisters and now my brothers and sisters, let us pray. For Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, and deacons, may the Spirit draw them together to devote themselves in one accord to prayer. We pray to the Lord. 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 For government officials, may God give them eyes of mercy and hearts of truth to seek the common good and care for those they serve. We pray to the Lord. 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 For all mothers, especially expectant mothers facing uncertainty or poverty, may God give them the grace they need to lovingly welcome their children into our world as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. 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 For our community gathered together here in church as well as in spiritual communion together, gathered in worship, may we may the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary help us grow in grace, fortitude, and fear of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. We pray in this Holy Mass in a special way for Alexa, JJ, Jerry, Kay, Carol, Jim, Eileen, Pat, Gerda, Lucy, Pam, Hank, Eva, Jeff, Joan. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. For those who have died, especially the holy souls in purgatory who need our prayers and help to get home. May all the angels and saints soon welcome them into the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. Heavenly Father, while we ask in faith, we grant according to your most gracious will. We join our poor prayers to the, those of the glorious and ever-Virgin Mother of God, Mother of the Church. We speak them in the name of her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as we pray. Amen. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the day of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, for giving in hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work is in hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God of God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice and yours. Praise the glory of His name. For all the good of all the souls. Receive our offerings, O Lord, and transform them into the mystery of salvation, so that by its power we may be set aflame with the charity of the Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, and with her may be united more closely to the work of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted up our God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. And it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, O Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to proclaim your greatness with due praise as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary. Receiving your word in her immaculate womb, she was found worthy to conceive him in her virgin's womb. And giving birth to the Creator, she nurtured the beginnings <coughs> of the church. Standing beside the cross, she received a testament of divine love and took to herself as sons and daughters all those who by the death of Christ 
are going to heavenly life. As the apostles awaited the spirit you had promised, she joined her supplication to the prayers of the disciples and so became the pattern of the church at prayer. Raised to the glory of heaven, she accompanies your pilgrim church with a mother's love and watches in kindness over the church's homeward steps until the Lord's day shall come in glorious splendor. So with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord of our hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending them your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we will proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence to minister to you. Humbly we pray that for the of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Cardinal Archbishop, Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope for the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to co heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, full of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Lord, 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 Lord,
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, mine, peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and to graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the Behold the Lamb of God, the only who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. As he hung upon the cross, Jesus said to the disciple whom he loved, Behold your mother.
Let us pray. Having received the pledge of redemption and of life, we humbly pray, O Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mother's help, with the Blessed Virgin's motherly help, your Church may teach all nations by proclaiming the Gospel, and through the grace of the outpouring of the Spirit, fill the whole earth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. Saint Michael. May you be richly blessed for your participation from home. God love you.